Hi, welcome back. This is floss tube number 20. It is January 19th. It is a Tuesday. And as soon as I start talking, Lilu comes running. <laughs> Hi, puppy. And now I have to move things. It's just, I should know this is going to happen. I should have things ready. Come on, come here. Say hi. Here. Oh. There she is. Mm-hmm. Can't stand it. Cannot stand it when I'm sitting here talking for a second. Oh, that was fast. <laughs> All right, is that the same? I'm trying a little bit of a new setup, so let's see how this goes. Hi, puppy. Hi, puppy. <laughs> All right. Um, welcome. Welcome to subscribers. Welcome to non-subscribers. Be a subscriber. That would be great. Um, really enjoyed everyone's comments. Um, 2021 has not been the year we expected. I think, I think at least for me, I thought it was just going to be like, yes, we are into a new year. And magically, magically, things are going to be better. I'm an idiot. <laughs> people are still people, no matter what. And, um, yeah, we had a coup. Did you guys know that? Did you guys know we had a coup? Or, not a coup, but an attempted one? <sighs> all right. Uh, put all your disagrees down below, all your thumbs down. Hopefully most of you will thumbs up that. Mm. All right, so uh, now that you know how I feel about that, mm. Mm. gin and tonic, because I will be drinking more this evening because I have a Zoom drinking group because pandemic. So Yeah, what do you do? So, you know, I'm going with a light drink before I drink something heavier later. That's that's my excuse. So, anyway, let's see. Anything else besides that? Um, organization, because it is January, and I know this is when we all try to start the year fresh and organize and do all the things. Um, I had already purchased uh, Jen Lee, Corks and Stitches, um, her PDF of, like, I don't even know what to call it. Anyway, organizing your cross stitch. It has like to-do lists and you keep, it has all the lists and things to do for the month and go look at it. I'm explaining it terribly. Um, so I was like really into that. And then she posted a picture of it on her iPad. I knew people did digital journaling, but I, I don't know. I really like paper. I'm a paper person. Yes. Um, <laughs> Uh, but I have inherited my husband's iPad iPad Pro, the bigger, nicer one. So I downloaded GoodNotes because she posted a photo of uh, all those things in GoodNotes. And now I'm fascinated. And now I have purchased her GoodNotes set with all the tabs and all the fun stuff. So, um, I don't really have a lot for you now. I'm just kind of getting things together. I'm... I'm not one of those people, I don't plan for the year. I mean, I might be like, I wanna get this one project finished for the year, but I I don't do well in crafting with these really long-term goals. Um, so I'm just trying to go by the month. And this month it was like, um, finish my Kringles block. And I have like a little mill hill that I wanna finish this month. Um, I was gonna do some sewing, but as you can see behind me. Um, oh, I don't know if I shared this with you. I don't know that it happened. I don't know. I tore my calf muscle crossing the street. Maybe I talked about this. So I wasn't walking for like a month and a half. Um, it's all good now. I'm going to physical therapy. I can walk like a normal person, you know, heel to toe. <laughs> I can actually do that and it's fine. 
Um, I just have to strengthen everything up. So that's the fun part. I'm doing calf raises and stretches. And it's amazing how much weaker my left leg is. Well, I guess I sat on a couch for a month and a half, so it shouldn't be that surprising, but still a little bit. Um, and then my husband's not feeling good, so he is like not able to do a bunch of stuff, which is why the Christmas tree is still up. Because the box for the Christmas tree is under our makeshift table back here. <laughs> so, maybe it'll be gone next time I film the video, which will probably be March. Hmm. So, that's what's been going on in the household. Lilu has nothing to report. Um, she did get groomed yesterday. I haven't had a haircut since March, yet she is getting groomed. So there you have it. Now now you know priorities around here. All right. Let's get down to business. That's great. Okay. All right. Um, 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 um. Let me know. <laughs> no. Oh, I forgot one. All right. Well, I forgot my knitting, but... I think you'll be fine. I feel like most people are here for my uh, cross stitch. I have a finish and I did finish it in 2020. Midnight watch. If you're on my Instagram, go there. It's also Finding Judy. I have a picture of this. But look, I finished it. Do, 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 do. There we go, look. Okay, I'm gonna close my mouth so that it doesn't take that screenshot. <laughs> Cause you know it will. But yeah, 2020, there are my initials. I'm very happy with this. Um, you know, it's gonna just go in my little bin of all my other finishes. Who knows when I will do things with it. Now I can have a free bag. This has been sitting here for a month waiting for me to do a video. So I'm excited about that, that's good. Um, all right, let's get into whips. There's gonna be a little bit of haul mixed in because I did buy this Evertote bag. I like her bags. I only have a couple. I only have one other one, which I have down here. Um, mostly I use these plastic bags I don't know why. I really, really like these like handmade sewn bags. Um, oh, it also came with this. Um, I don't know. I, I just, it's like I can't decide what I want or I'm like, oh, I don't know. So then I don't buy them. So that's my long way of saying. I like these handmade bags. I just don't buy them for some reason. So clearly I'm prepared. Uh, Kringles by Little House Needleworks. Ooh, there we go. There it is. My goal is to do one block a month, which really sort of means an area because I finished the bottom. And I just pulled out everything. All right. Well, here's another part of haul. I managed to get this little guy oh he's blown out oh yeah that looks great <laughs> i've got to figure out the lighting situation Ooh, this ring light mm. Mm. all right yeah because i sent uh cooker hummus i i say this every time i don't remember people's real names i know it starts with an r i sent her a little message because she posted she'd gotten one on the previous um update and i was like you stole that out of my cart because <laughs> clearly that was the exact one that i was probably trying to buy it didn't have anything to do with paypal screwing up um user errors so i'm not mad at paypal uh and uh couldn't get through the checkout process fast enough and by the time i finally did surprise things were sold out mm. So, that was a tangent. Here is where I am on this. I think that's right there, yeah. 
So I've got the bottom three blocks done. They're cute. I haven't done, there's like a smidge of outlining and some uh, French knots. And I am saving those for the end because I'm doing this on a hoop or at least saving it until it won't be smushed by the hoop so I don't completely screw it up. So now you get to watch me shove everything back into a bag. But I'm really happy with this. I've been keeping up with it. It's been um, at least for the past three months since November. It's been a monthly goal. So you'll be seeing that again. we we'll get another, there's like a, now there's like a top piece that says crinkles above those blocks. And that will be my next goal to do. So, yay. So it's kind of a finish, but not really. All right, um, new start. Do, 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 do. I started Poison Ivy by Nora Corbett. So here we go. She is really pretty. I actually bought this, I don't know, a year or so ago because my sister had the world's worst case of Poison Ivy. She was cleaning her yard she knows better. Mm. I think if you grew up in West Virginia, in any kind of suburb, well, there's there's no big cities. I don't know why I'm acting like there's some big city where people, but most of us, the majority of people have like some sort of yard and you know what poison ivy is. I mean, I grew up around a lot of woods, so hang on. Come, come on, come. She sits there and stares at me like, for some reason she's not allowed on the couch, which She's loud on the couch. So anyway, I thought it would be funny to stitch this and send it to her. And then of course it's set for like a year, but I decided to just go ahead and start it. It's really pretty. I'm kind of, she's distracting me. Mm. All right, I, you're gonna have to wait. Mm. So here's where I am. It is stitching up so fast. Um, all right, you can see, yeah. I mean, it's so pretty. I really, I need to do more of Nora's smaller ones. I tend to, um, I really do like the Mirabilia's, but they're enormous. <laughs> I think we all know that, right? They're just, they're huge. Um, so I actually kind of want to keep this as a focus. Um, I think I've worked, I, here's another thing, organizing that were any of you on Plurk like 50 years ago before before I would say before the internet but it was Plurk and I think it turned into something else it was a fantastic place for forums um, they had a great like Chatelaine forum there was like a Mirabilia forum I, there was all kind of Bent Creek like it was just like a lot of really like siloed forums and what was really great about it was you could have threads that were specific finishes. So like you could go to Poison Ivy and just see everybody's finished Poison Ivy. Um, Cause that's the only reason I keep Facebook is for the groups, but it's so hard to find, you know, there's not like an isolated place to find a specific pattern picture. I mean, you can search and do that, but it was just great. Um, like Chatelaine's, you could just go and be like, oh, I want to see people's finished whatever. And then it was just a whole thread of just people's finished Chatelaine's. So there's my complaint. I miss forums. I miss real forums that had threads, I guess. There we go. I'm old. <laughs> That's way back when the internet was better. All right. So Poison Ivy. I digress. So yeah, I'm going to... I'm gonna try to get her finished in the past few months. Oh my God, I was talking about something. The reason I was talking about Plurk, <laughs> oh, you guys, um, is because there, there were a lot of people on there. Um, you did have, I think there's a rotation stitchers group, but a lot of people timed their stitching. I feel like now I see a lot more, oh my gosh, come here. I see a lot more people. There you go. I see a lot more people doing the counting of the crosses, which 
may have been on there, but I wasn't really aware of people counting their exes. But it seems like back when I was on that, it was all, um, it, not all. Okay, you're gonna have to get down. A lot of people who were doing that type of thing, it was timing. Cause I actually had a stopwatch cause that was back when our phones didn't have timers on them. I, the Apple iPhone was just, you know, a gleam in the eye. So I actually had a stopwatch and that's where I, I did that. And I enjoyed doing that. And when I kind of took a hiatus from stitching regularly, I stopped doing it. And I just recently started up doing that again. And I'm, I'm digging it. I like it. So I think I have like 18 hours on her. And also if, if I wasn't, you know what? I will put it here. I know how long I stitched on um, Midnight Run. Midnight Watch. I think Midnight Run is a movie. So yeah, I kind of like knowing how much time. Is it exact? No, because sometimes I let it run by accident. Sometimes I forget to turn it on. But it like gives me an idea of how long it actually takes to stitch one of these projects. And I find it really interesting. I don't know. For me, that is better than how many X's. I don't know, that doesn't do anything for me. You guys, count your X's and I'll be over here doing my time. <laughs> All right, um, I have been working on a sock head hat. This is my third one I've knit over the years. I lost my favorite one, that was sad. All right, so here is the ribbing and now I'm starting on just the stockinette portion. Here is my yarn. It's a Malabrigo. Doot, doot. I think it's called Turner. It is super old. This is probably been in my stash for about 10 years. So it's time to use some of these things. Um, so that's a knitting thing. I do, oh. Also with Kringles and Poison Ivy, I'm just, everything is called for. I haven't switched anything up. So um, like Kringles is on Parisian gray with all the called for threads. Um, Poison Ivy is all called for. It's a Witchel linen that it calls for. Um, so there's that. Cause I'm trying to remember to tell you all that. Cause I am a bad, bad podcaster. But I'm not podcasting. I'm YouTubing. <laughs> See? I don't even know what I'm doing. All right. Sweater time. I see spring. It's bigger than we saw. It's so stripey. It's hilarious. Um, for knitters out there, there's a little detail here. I'll be doing an edging on this too. Um, for you knitters out there, I did not alternate skeins which is what I should have done with this hand dyed. But honestly, I kind of don't care with this sweater. This is just gonna be like a super comfy loungy sweater. It's, it looks a lot more here, but you can still see it like in real life. Um, I'm starting a sleeve. It's a sleeve right here. Um, this is not as long as it's going to be, um, but I have, just enough yarn so I thought I'd work on the sleeves and then see where I can get with the body I think I'm gonna do three-quarter sleeves so I don't have a ton to do but I'm excited about this it's so soft this is also Malabrigo and funny enough um, it is also Turner but you can see well I, oh, this light um, the other one has these like bluey purples in it and this does not which Malabrigo is kind of famous for that of like, they're like similar colorways, but there can be some real differences between, and these were bought like really far apart, um, like years apart. So that probably has something to do with it. All right. So let's get into more hauls since, I mean, I kind of did that. Um, some things aren't super exciting. Um, like I've gotten some like DMC in the mail, some things like that. Um, you saw my clay by Kim. 
that's always beautiful. Um, my ever tote bag. Oh, okay. These are non cross stitchy. So there is a woman. Her name is Ashton Zager and she has Ashton Zager fiber art. And, um, I bought a kit, a little weaving kit. So you weave on this round, ooh, lace. So it'll be a round thing. I'm gonna have to do this without. Okay, so I bought this kit. So the round thing is what I will be putting my warp, I believe. There's my little fork. I don't know how to use that yet. Um, so I bought her ebook on how to do that and someday, Someday when I get my craft room set up and there's not shit all over the floor. <laughs> maybe I'll get to that. I mean, I could do it on the dining room table, but it's already a hot mess, people. Oh. Joe can't wait for me to get all the things up off the floor in the craft room so that I can get a desk and oh, it's organizing. Also, I'm doing some de-stashing. So if you're interested in any um, rock and sock club socks that rock uh, yarn, I have I have a lot that I need to get rid of. I was in clubs for years with her and I have several skeins from 2009 and the 2010 club and I have them for sale on my Ravelry for Trade page if you're interested. Um, I did put a post on Instagram, but I'm not sure how long I'm going to leave that up because I'm not really, it's not generating anything and I don't want to just leave it on there. So, if you'd like to look at them, oh, I need to put a link below, um, but I'm finding Judy on Ravelry as well. Um, I think I did not even put show notes for last week, or last week, my last video. So, ask me if I, I don't get that stuff put in the notes below um so yeah sorry I'm a little I'm thinking because I'm actually thinking of kind of getting I had a blog um and it got eaten by bad people on the internet and then I tried to fix it and then I completely I deleted something I shouldn't have and I completely just blew it up and now it's just a crap site um so I need to get in contact with HostGator and ask them how to just wipe the slate clean and just start fresh. It's, I mean, it's findingjudy.com, but like you can't, you go to it and it's like, eh, it's like, there's nothing there. It's not even like a hold page. It is like, this page is broken. Um, I broke it. Note to self, save your info on your blogs if you're doing like I did WordPress and I was like oh, it'll be fine I don't need to save you know prior things on it and then when I killed it I was like oh it would have been nice to have a saved version that I could just pop in here but no so lesson learned um oh if you're still here remember I did a drawing I don't know, October, November, I have not heard from her. And so we have a new winner. I know it's January and I know that Christmas is over. But Santa is forever. So I, I spun the wheel again. It was down to three of you. So Doreen Deskins, if you're out there, are you out there Doreen? Send me a note. Um, I'm at Finding Judy with an I at gmail.com. Um, or you know, you can ping me on Instagram, but somewhere, let me know. I'm gonna reply to your comment from like 300 years ago. I will find what episode that's on. Um, but I'd love to send this out to you. I'd love to. This is like the longest ongoing giveaway ever. So Anyway, <sighs> all right, you guys, um, that wraps it up. 
hopefully my Christmas tree will be gone next time. Um, I might have all my little cross stitch stuff organized a la Corks and Stitches, which will be amazing. And is there anything else like I'm excited about? Um, I mean, I'm just excited about life in general. Hmm. Oh, tomorrow. Oh my gosh, guns. Tomorrow I'm going to start. Tomorrow for me is inauguration day. Hopefully nothing terrible happens. I'm going to start Oh Joyous Day. And somebody somewhere on FlossTube said that they were starting this as an inauguration day start. I was like, amazing, yes. So I bought it, bought all the accoutrement to go with it. Um, I mean, I have, I have fabric. I have all the floss but two because every store ever is out of it. It was like sage and sandcastle. Here are all my little things. Do, do, do. So I'm excited about starting this tomorrow. Um, so yeah, but if anybody out there remembers or like saw who, who is stitching this and I think there's a hashtag, clearly I need to be better about writing these things down when I see them because I have no clue who is doing this, but I'm doing it. So um, if I can't figure out who it is, I'm just gonna make up my own hashtag, but I'll be the only one on it. So that's what I'm doing tomorrow. Um, tomorrow I will be working on that. I'm going to attempt to do 24 hours of cross stitch this coming weekend. I think it's this coming weekend, probably, because I think it's like the last weekend in January. Um, I think I only did like four or six hours last time. So I feel like if I beat four or six hours, I, I've, I've already won. Um, I'm going to work on a mill hill that's over there and I'm not going to get, but you'll see it later. I'd like to finish it. Um, so yeah. Okay. This time I'm really signing off. I promise. Yeah. I'm looking around. Like, is there anything else I've forgotten? Because clearly I did not put every single thing in my notes. But, you know, cheers. And it sounds so trite, but just be nice. Just be nice to people. Don't be an asshole. Don't do things to people that you would not want to have done to you. I don't know. I feel like this is not hard. I know we believe different things and I think that's fine. We are allowed to believe different things. And I, I have had some, I've had some good, maybe not productive, but like good civil discussions with a few people out there. And I think that's, that's what we do. We can't just be pissed off at everybody. I mean, some people we can be pissed off at cause they're way over there. But like most of us, or not. So let's just, just don't be an asshole. <laughs> that's, that's what I'm ending. That's what I'm ending this with. So, all right, you guys, um, I hope everyone is well. Just be kind and, um, I'll catch up with you next time. Bye.